Three, two, one, kick it. <laughs> Stay away from me! Oh my gosh! Hello my polygonal friends. Today, we are going to be covering Total Drama Armageddon Episode 1. Now, you know, Total Drama Armageddon is the sequel series to Total Drama Destiny. And if you, uh, don't know what Total Drama Destiny is, it is a YouTube fan series made by D-Man. I covered the series in my 100 subscriber special. So, uh, before we start, I recommend, uh, checking out that 100 subscriber special. It'll be, uh, it should be in, like, a little... You know that thing at the top right yeah that thing that thing up there uh, I would watch that one if you want the context and I would uh, check out the creator D-Man uh, the series is actually just starting so you know you could you could be the first ones to watch it uh, yeah uh, let's let's watch some total drama the first episode starts off one year later from the end of Total Drama Destiny with Chris getting bailed out of prison after the incident. Lindsay, no. We then see Chris getting a call from one of the producers. They want him to make another season. I heard you got bailed out a few days ago. If you would like, we would like to do another season of Total Drama. The ratings last time were just too good. You don't have to ask me again. Great. Just make sure you don't break your parole under any circumstances. It seems very strict this time. Yes! I am back, everyone! Uh, maybe don't yell out like that in public, Chris. Tim, I, I would really not be uh, screaming that at the top of your lungs. Oh, uh, yeah, you can also see one of the, the, the you know, that lawyer guy from Total Drama Reunion. No! I want to live! I want to live! We then see the characters getting introduced. First here we have Cody and Duncan. I can't believe I'm back here again. <laughs> yes, the torture never ends while I'm here. Yo, yo, it's the tagline. It's hey, the Ezekiel yeah! too. Peak fiction. Peak fiction. Peak fiction. Is there a bomb in here or something? Then, Gwen reveals she's being forced to play in the show. So, um, yeah. Chris, I cannot believe you forced me back onto this stupid show. Well, maybe you should have actually read your contract before you signed up, Gwen. But that was like five years ago. You can't keep getting away with this. Also, Lindsay has a restraining order on Chris. I wonder why. Then, after Chris makes the teams, he then explains the, a new gimmick of this season. The traitor cards. Basically, it's like a... It's like a certain game, uh... Oh, what's that game called? Oh... Oh, well. If you get a traitor card, your job will be to sabotage your team. And if you get caught, you're instantly eliminated. But if you succeed, you'll get in benefits like uh, invincibility and stuff like that. And with that, Chris leaves and the challenge starts. What is the challenge, you might ask? I don't know. Then Alejandro finds something. Don't run in us! I found something! 
Nice. What did you find, Alejandro? Whoa, Gwen's dead. Gwen's dead. She Yo. died like she was in lethal oh, company. Gosh. Gwen is dead. And then uh, Amy finds a couple of doors. Also, I really want to mention real quick, whoever voice acts Max, uh, you know that one character from that one bad season? I, 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 that, that voice actor does a really good job. I, I just wanted to say that. It's a really good impression. Nice find, Amy. But wait, I found it first. Oh, be quiet. No one wants to hear what you have to say, Samey. Then, Zoe finds her own set of combinations. I've got a piece of paperwork with some numbers on it. Alright, the challenge must be to find the numbers to unlock the combination locks then. Alright, everyone start searching now. On it! <laughs> then after Scott breaks his spinal cord... Ouch. We then see Sean hiding behind the door. What the heck are you doing, Sean? Well, I'm hoping that if I get lucky here, I can just guess the right combination. <laughs> I call BS. You weren't even doing that. You were literally just standing in front of the door like an idiot. Wait, Sean's the traitor. There's an imposter among us. Then while Amy and Sammy are talking, we can see an, a photo of Alejandro and Heather laying on the ground. This is especially funny to me since whoever did the whoever put it there like Chris or something got it framed. He just got a framed photo of two strangers. And finally, Cody finds the last piece of paper. Cody is really a legend among among the total drama cast. Actually, I just found the third one. Good find, Cody. That will help us quite a bit. All right, let's head over there. Then we see Ezekiel figuring out the order of the code. Yeah. Bro, I gotta do a video someday on why Ezekiel is the best total drama character. He's, he's just top tier. There's, there's no other words to describe him. Then we see Brick unlocking the door, winning the challenge for his team. And it turns out Alejandro was the imposter on the other team the entire time. Wow, what a twist. Not really. So who was the traitor on our team? It was I, mi amor. I was the one who ripped up the last paper. Also, I flipped the first paper we got upside down, so it looked like a six and one instead of a one and nine. I like that detail. Because you can actually see it's flipped upside down in the scenes. I like that. That's a good attention to detail. Then since uh, Sean got found out as the imposter, he's forced to walk on a landmine. Sean, Sean's dead. Sean's, Sean's dead. Yep, Sean, Sean's just dead. Bye, Sean. Bye. Then it comes down to Gwen and Amy. Since Alejandro won immunity. That's not, that's not how you, I used the wrong one. Put it, put a photo of that on screen. I used the wrong one. Anyways, um. It should be pretty obvious who's gonna get voted out. It's, it's gonna be a- Gwen! You're out of here! Huh? Okay, so, um, earlier in the game, you know, a little re it's rewind, rewind time. time. Uh, Gwen wanted out of the game, so, uh, she asked everyone to vote for her. Which, you know, that's, that's a good way to get out. And then, Gwen sadly dies, a horrific death. And that ends off episode one of Total Drama Armageddon. Overall, I, I really like this one. It's pretty top tier since Ezekiel didn't get voted out first. And uh, I did really like, the, I really like the mechanic actually of uh, having an imposter on each team. Anyways...
Thank you all for participating in today's video. I hope you liked it. Go check out D-Man and watch the rest of the series when it premieres. Links in the description. Uh, make sure to do all the YouTube stuff. You don't have to, but it sure would be nice. I've got I got some really good videos coming out soon, so be prepared. I've been Sam, and I hope you all have a good night. Peace. Close your sight till you can